Now then, Oscar-winning actress and former Labour MP Glenda Jackson has made quite a shocking revelation. She says she prefers spending time with men more than women. She says men are usually more fun and they don't whinge as much. <gasps> It's really surprised, Janet, wow. that Glenda Jackson has it said is that. You know, this is the lady that's that's kind of always yeah. fighting for equal rights and, and women's well, agendas. She is, and... uh, she is uh, notoriously outspoken and she doesn't mince her words. I was listening to her on the radio the other day doing an interview because she's got a new radio uh, drama series uh, that she's narrating. Um, I've got quite a lot of time for Glenda Jackson. Uh, it's interesting that she said this because very few other women, famous women, would dare Admit it. Admit yeah. it. And I'm thinking, why has she arrived at that um, conclusion? <clears throat> and maybe it's because her entire life as a politician, you know, 20 or 30 years as a politician, she was in a very male dominated environment. She had to get on with men to get her way. And who does that remind you of? Maggie Thatcher. You know, different yeah. politics. Yeah. But she did not get on with other women either. And if I'm perfectly honest, I've spent most of my working life, you know, elbow, elbowing a bloke out of the way to get <laughs> on. And they're big elbows. <laughs> they are big elbows. <laughs> And trying to understand the weird way that most men's minds work. So consequently, it's, I probably have more in common with men than with but women. But you're talking about a work situation. I yeah, well, get I, that. Yeah. I do get that. And I, you know, started off in TV in a very <laughs> male-dominated environment years ago. But socially, I would always gravitate to the company of women. Just, I just yeah. naturally would. <laughs> Say, I mean, mostly a female audience. Few men looking a bit worried here. <laughs> um, but I would say, you know, I'm a woman's woman, and I'm very wary of women who don't like other women. Oh, yeah. You know, so I think there's a difference. Of being I like at women. Work. I just find them frightening. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I like women. Are quite frightening, aren't they? What do you think? Uh, I don't normally agree with you, Janet, but I agree with you on this one. Um, <laughs> no, I have to say, I love... There's nothing better than sitting down with your girlfriends mm. when you've got emotional problems mm. to discuss or physical problems to discuss. There's no one better when you really want to get everything out there. But in actual fact, like you, when I was growing up, my sisters... Um, I, I lived most of the time in Blackpool with my two brothers, and I went ev out every Friday with them and all their mates. I was the only girl. And we did nothing but laugh. I mean, we just laughed all night. And it yeah. wasn't bitchy yeah. laughter and it wasn't judgmental. We just laughed. Mm -hmm. But when I'd go out with my girlfriends, I'd find girls more judgmental. So when I walk in a room, because I do it myself a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, when a woman walks in a room or whatever, you can't help yourself but go, oh, she could have done with that dress in a bigger size. <laughs> I just don't think they do that. <laughs> Men might go, oh, she's got big boobs, but... <laughs> <laughs> Very but gentle, that is but equally as shallow, I feel isn't it? Like, yeah, but they don't actually, because I, they like so I said, do. no, they don't really. Because they, when I used to go do. out with men, no, they'll go, oh, she's fit or whatever, but then they move on. But that's but what I, I mean, it's equally as shallow. Oh, if there's like a group her, of men, they make it sound like when women are together, you know that where they always go, nattering, they use those words like yeah. nattering, having a chat of yeah, gossip. Exactly. I go, we could be sitting over there having a drink, talking yeah. about the events in, you know, in exactly. Paris. We're not exactly. having a natter, we're having a talk to yeah. our female well, friends. Yeah, that, that, I think that's that's my, they make yeah. it sound like a group of men always discussing something really intelligent. Exactly. When no, you we, walk no. into, it, if a woman walks into a party mm. and there's a group of men looking, I bet they don't say she looks very intelligent. I must go over and have a chat yeah, to her exactly. about the current economic situation. Mm. They're probably but that's thinking just something as bad shallow. As you saying, I bet those blokes over there are going, oh, she's got big boobs, or she's this and that. That's you generalising. Yeah, but you're and, saying and they're not thinking that. Well, not something. all the time. No. no, but then women aren't all the time bitching oh, about other do. women's shoes. Well, they're they're not. Not. When a woman walks not, up, he's going, oh, I like your hair, or I like this, or I like that. that. Well, that, that's a prime example. I, I love the company of women, but it's a particular type of women. I like strong women, opinionated women, women that stand for something, have something mm. about them. And I think... Oh, I like if, women I just think, like a laugh. But this, but this <laughs> is it. But, but this is it. Yeah. If you... That, that being said, I think it's also it's about me. choosing your environment because I choose a certain type of woman to gra that I gravitate towards. Whereas, you know, I'm, I mean, you know, it might not be your cup of tea, but that, that's my cup of tea. And so, my interpretation of women is very different to yours. I, I don't, I don't sit with my friends, you know, saying, oh, you know, look at right, shoes, got... exactly, like just not at all. Right.
as the referee, ha ha, <laughs> I'd like to read, uh, read out some comments uh, from viewers. <laughs> Molly says, I often feel intimidated by any woman that I see as more attractive or better than me in any way. So that's I prefer. Yeah, that's, that's insecurity. Yeah, that's insecurity. So Molly yeah. prefers the company of men. And Kim says, if you can't get on with both men and women, I'd say that you're the one with the problem. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Let me uh, just ask you then, if you were going to, if, we, if I set up two parties, okay, oh. so we're standing outside, yeah. there's two parties, and in there it's all men, you can see them all, all men, yeah. and all women in that one. And I said, right, which party are you going to go to, Colleen Nolan? <laughs> Don't start with me. <laughs> Look, the blokes all having a laugh, all look, all they're talking politics. I'm going, I'd go with the men. <laughs> You'd go with the yeah. men. Really? You'd mm. go with the I, I mean, I'd be so intimidated by a party full of men. Like I'd definitely yeah. go to the women, definitely. Alright, I'm going with Jeremy Corbyn on the right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to a group of men because I feel I just have to massage their yeah. egos and laugh at whatever <laughs> stupid joke they're laughing at there. Exactly. I'd much rather be there with yeah. the girls having a glass of wine. Yeah.